don't touch my leg. Oh, that was your leg. Oh. Friends, although it's likely our comrade here wasn't poisoned, it seems that our host has a significant amount of the stuff upstairs. That wasn't mine. And this Ooh. man is a liar who is in debt to Eddie for losing a sports bet. And he hates going to Spain. What? So who's with me in saying that Dostoevsky is rocking the dead vibe? Am I right? This sort of thing is all I go corporeal for. Haunt these halls no more. But what if he murders you? I am already dead. So Frankenstein is not the name of the monster. Nope, he's just the doctor. So what's the name of the monster? I was pretty sure it was Karen. How'd you broads get involved? I haven't been in five days. All right, Annabelle, you can do it. You can be scary. Woo! Miss Agatha Christie, we are indeed pr H for short, HG, what do we go by? I, I cooked it myself with my latest contraption. It's a, uh, an enclosure that bombards the food with electromagnetic radiation such that the food molecules themselves actually... Fine, uh, wonderful. Just come in. It's, in. it's incredibly efficient. It's not a real thing. Eddie bashed my dear friend Ernest Hemingway over the head. I let him. <laughs> Guys, I just said that Emily was crushed by the feather of loneliness. Oh! <laughs> that actually is quite amusing. <laughs> you do hit them on the head occasionally, chap. <laughs> I do. One who kills for sport. I got it. Kipling. Rudyard Kipling. It's him. Can't believe it. Right. No, no, no. <laughs> ah, you know, it's rest day. Probably shouldn't work the old muscles too much. Eddie and I knew each other from a party that we met at last year. Huh? That's all. <laughs> That's definitely not all. Nothing too scandalous. Well, clearly that depends on your definition of scandal. Are you saying? Your boy and I wore a thing <gasps> for a night. I don't know. He rebuffed me at the end. <laughs> I never knew why. Well, he was very European. Is that a cat? Do you have a cat? Idiots all around me. What does my afterlife become? I'm not going to jail. None of us are going to jail. Okay, one of you is probably going to jail. I always say, get this down. Don't do murder! I did it! <gasps> you did? Yes. I brought knives for everyone, for protection! Uh, being this specialist. Ah. Oh. Uh. Uh. You'll never leave me. When will someone be murdered? Hmm? Hmm. Soup is pretty good. Looky here, I brought a switchblade so we can skewer wild boar in the backyard. And then we can roast it over an open flame. Only an open flame. Are you just trying to kill people that I care about? Because you are overestimating how much I care about people. You didn't do it alone. How could she that, have done this all by herself? That's what I was saying just now, Lenore. This is a time for listening, all right, okay? Well, I'm just I always have the idea and then you like piggyback. The the no, don't, don't tell me it's like... just like the time. It's just like the time. Yeah. Oscar? Edgar. This isn't mine. Sure. I, I, I may be going out on a limb here, but uh, perhaps you have a vault space in your cellar that you would be amenable to storing dead bodies in? Naturally. Aha! Come on, everybody does. Mine's in my attic. Have I seen you before somewhere? Probably. <laughs> I'm very famous. <laughs> no, no, this, this isn't Oh, th were, were we supposed to do that as well? H, for God's sakes, have some dignity. No. Sweetie, I think we're supposed to wait our turns to put our faces in the soup. Form a circle, everyone. I need a candle, unused white, to cleanse the room. Ah, uh, yes. I arrived a little bit past six. Never be too available, you know. 6.15. Fashionably late. <laughs> Time is a construct. 
inherently tying us to death. Undo every shackle, unseat every oppressor, and time will be there still, inexorably laughing at us until the bitter end. I was here at 625. <laughs> I think we can all agree that the most innocent person here is the beautiful and innocent Annabelle Lee, and also she's the most beautiful. Now can we start taking this seriously? Do not be afraid. I have brought along the Duke of Coventry and Humphrey Cadwallader for your protection. I've been here all day. Look, if we're being honest, I don't recall leaving the house in the last year, month. In the last month, put that down. We are running out of time. Well, are we? Yes, 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 we understand. You were all very verbose. Now get to the point. This is why I despise writers. I was worried that he was going to reveal my true identity tonight as a woman. Nizer. A womanizer. A what? You know, like a real lady killer. So a murderer. No, 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 it's, it's a saint. You know, like a... A real Don Juan. <laughs> a cat about town? Hey, it's a real shame about those dead people, huh? The game of life and the game of death have one thing in common. They do not care what you want. Beautiful. So did you... Uh... <clears throat> She's dead. Uh, again. At least I can confront it like a man. By punctuating every statement you make with a swig of alcohol. Mm? I don't hide behind witticisms and bon mots. I tell it like it is. Where are you getting these drinks? Oh. I know how to box! Oh, here we go with this. Yes, I'm sure your boxing matches are as short as your stories. <laughs> Edgar, I'm terribly frightened. No, no, don't be. It's merely the ghosts of those murdered in the house over the last hour return to tell us which one of us is the murderer. You crazy, contemptuous cow! You murdered my best friend! My acquaintances! Let's call them acquaintances. Mm -hmm. Besides, I didn't even make the invite list. That was Lenore. I have no real friends. That sad fact is finally coming in handy. Hi, Eddie Dante. Sorry we're delayed. My volunteer ship at the old folks' home ran late, and then on the way over, we ran across a barbershop quartet, and their bass was out with a sore throat, so I had to fill in. <laughs> oh, mm -hmm. You understand. <laughs> He has perfect pitch. My, we are becoming adept at this murder game, are we not? Yes, indeed, Miss Bronte. Yes, indeed. <sighs> well, it was my wedding day. I was getting married to the love of my life, Guy Devere. That week. Love of my life that week. No, you know, I'm standing up for myself. Do not under any circumstances leave this abode, or the only thing you will be offering henceforth is your own death. Well, we know who did it. H.G. Wells, you stand accused. This notice of intent is as hacky as anything you've ever spewed forth. She was stabbed. Now, what dish did you bring? You'll find you can eat anything, if you're hungry enough. I don't need to act things out in order to write them. I have what we like to call an imagination. Have you ever heard of that? Oh, no, 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 no. Please, tell us more about the old man and the boat. <laughs> I hope I still get to pre-order his Tales from a Moscow Prison short story anthology. No joking around. Whatevs, Grim Reaper, you'd die of loneliness without me anyway. Ernest, you have something to say? When I have something to say, I say it. When I don't, I stop typing. You never know where you're going to end up in the morning. Mm? Why? <laughs> oh, dear. Besides, there's not a number of us. There has to be at least one group of three. Actually, there's an even number. Nice. Parties aren't the place for jokes, Lenore. Now, time for everyone's favorite part, the rules. You can never be overdressed or overeducated. <laughs> oh. 
I mean this in the nicest way, but that's the dumbest thing I've ever heard of. Lens crafters, what's the consensus? Where did you get those pictures? Oh no, no, I, 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 um, I, I, I don't do well with real death. Soup is not for eating. Soup is for drinking and throwing on the ground as you demand real food. <laughs> I was half expecting to find some dead bodies already down here. That's absurd. <sighs> At this temperature? <sighs> Weird. I thought it was because she wore that dress. Oh. Ha. Huh. A, a joke. <laughs> I see. It was hideous. I brought this loaf of bread. I forgot the yeast, so it hasn't risen. No, oh, no, no, no. This was uh, supposed to be a, 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 Lenore. A good time. A good time. Oh. At least, this dress is fab. Are you really suggesting one of us is the murderer? Yes, who else could it be? You! you. Hello? It is a truth universally acknowledged that snitches get stitches. Louisa May Alcott. A spinster, through and through, has now reached the pinnacle of transcendentalism. May she be at one with the earth, and may she find her peace. Well, someone had that ready to go. I'm just really good at eulogies. Oh, guys, we really need to get a handle on this situation. Oh, yes. Yes, we are. I have... I have... No other suitors but Edgar. Yes, we are quite happy together. Sorry this Ugh, happened. Ladies, I'm sorry. But this is my most foppish shirt, and I must attend to it immediately in the bathroom. Oh. <laughs> Luckily, I always have a change of clothes for every occasion. Yes. Mm -hmm. Whose birthday is most recent? Mine's in three weeks. The party is tree themed, so everyone come dressed as your favorite tree. Mine's the Telia Americana. My siblings and I are also very talented. We would surely have come up with the money to make amends and put an end to this nonsense. Who do you think we are? The Austins? <laughs> <laughs> she stopped. She's better now. James Elliot, George Elliot likes beer, sporting. Talking about sporting. Dislikes. Peen sitting down, tending to the home, not talking about sporting. I could take you to the attic. It's my jam. I don't even know. I brought vodka. <laughs> <laughs>